Hey, what's happening, guys? Well, I got my keychains back from PCB Way. And as you can see here, they're looking pretty cool. Nice and gold. And got the Happy Bear, got our whole. In the next version, I was going to put rounded corners on them, but this got so few views that I am not going to continue with the. Uh, PCB artwork series I'm afraid it's just not worth my time but I do have a new project we're gonna we're gonna work on and it is a combination electronics uh, ham radio project what I got here is a Pi Zero W you guys are all familiar with these old guys they're great now if you've done any uh, ham radio stuff at all I'm sure you've heard of uh, WSJTX, the Joe Taylor a Digital Creation, and the Whisper uh, mode, which is used for propagation testing. Well, instead of tying up your radio, you can use a piece of software called Whisper Pi to turn this into a 100 milliwatt transmitter to do Whisper. But there's a caveat. This is only going to output a square wave which is going to have some unwanted spurious transmissions so if we make a low pass filter board to go on top of this put an SMA connector at the end boom we got a nice sine wave coming out and we'll have a nice smooth compliant signal all we have to do is uh, tap into pins uh, 7 and 9 here and we'll be good to go now for my PCB work lately I have been learning by myself keycad 5 so we are gonna go and we are gonna bumble through putting a board together in keycad 5 and feel free to laugh at me as much as you want because sometimes that's just the way it goes I do want to thank PCB way for uh, these beautiful key or uh, keychains which I will put in uh, Christmas stockings for my friends and family <laughs> all right Let's go, let's go on with the uh, design of the board. But first, a message from our sponsor. So this video is sponsored by PCB Way, PCB Prototype, the easy way. You guys have seen me use them, you know, in all these videos. You get your boards in about a week in the U.S. here for like $22. Right now, the ones I ordered today are going to come back at $17. So, and most of that shipping, you get your boards for $5. They provide PCB prototyping, SMD stencils, PCB assembly, flexible PCs, advanced PCs, everything that you could dream of. They've got it. They do good work. They do it fast. PCB way. Okay, so the first thing we need to know is that what frequency we need to build this for and we're going to be doing this on 40 meters so we're going to go with 7.038600 and then we can take that information and put it into a low pass filter calculator and get well, the, for the uh, values of the, our components, 220 ohm resistor, 100 picofarad capacitor. So then we can come over to KiCad where I've already started a new project called Whisper Pi. And what we need is to open our schematic. And we're going to place down a couple of components. We're going to need uh, three resistors and three capacitors. We'll start with small resistors. We'll plop down three of them. One, two, oops, there we go. two and three 
Make sure our spacing looks equal. Good. And then three capacitors. here. We just have symbols here. What do we got? What do we got? Simulation sensor switch. Sensor. Jumper interface. Graphic symbols. Oh. GPU, FPGA. We don't have capacitor. Alright, let's type a capacitor. There we go. So we'll drop three of them down here. just like that and then we are going to need our SMA connector that's fine and we'll drop it over here kind of like that so far so good right next we need to connect them up but first I am going to label our components what were our resistors 220 all right so click on a resistor what is it, E? No. I'm still learning KeyCAD, so... Properties. Is that right? No. Edit value. Position. Text. Oh, one moment. Alright, I guess we can do it... Like this. This would be R1. I'm hitting U on the keyboard. R2. R3. Come back over here and hit E. Try again. E. Uh, we'll call this one. 20R. Yeah, it'll work. Dag nab it. So 20R. Same thing here. E. So 20R. Then our capacitors. C1, C2, C3, uh, value is 100 pico, same here. Good. All right, now we can connect them. Next. 
connects to our center pin. Make sure everything looks right. So far, so good. We'll connect up these guys here, our grounds. Just like that. And we need something for our inputs. Okay, so for our inputs, we need. Could we have a 2x20? That would be even better. one we want I think and we'll just plop plop that over here can we rotate it around and it doesn't really matter at this point boom good and then we connect pin 7 here and pin 9 there and that should be our low pass filter let me just uh, mark this it should be J1 and he, we'll just call it uh, 40p. Okay, so now we can save this. And we need to get our uh, footprints. Let's grab a footprint editor. No, that's not what I want. Annotate. Symbols. New sheet. Sign footprints. There we go. You can do it for everything, right? Whoa. Remember, I'm not a, not a keycad master yet, so. Sign footprint. Annotate. Hmm. Well, let's just do it one at a time then, right? Properties and a footprint. Select. This is a connector. Okay, pattern. This is a 2x20, 2.54 millimeter. Two by twenty vertical. Yeah. That looks good. And we have to do these. We're going to make these uh, SMDs. This is a resistor SMD 
and in 1206 1206 where's the 1206 resistor SMD alright we go 1206 good then we'll do it for each of these should already be there and waiting to cover our resistors and then we need capacitors also 1206 hand soldered capacitor SMD twelve oh six hand soldered here and here and finally our connector which is connector coax SMA believe that's the one. It ain't that one. Could be that one. Okay, let's go over here and have a look. Yeah, I got my way. Do, 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 do. Hello. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to see that. Hold on. Yep, we want the one where they're all the same size. So, we should now be able to save that. Generate our net list. And uh, move on to the next step, which would be PCB layout. We're loading our net list. Oh, where did it go? Yeah, I'm trying to trying to figure it out here. Netlist generate netlist. Okay, save. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, we should be good. Then we'll get our netlist. And it ain't there. Ah. Alright. So I finally got the net list to import. I have no idea how. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this down here. Like so. And then this one. Is going to come over here. Or maybe over here. Yeah, I don't really care. Like that. Then we need our resistors. Ah. There's resistor one. We're going to rotate it like that. Ah. 
these things are hard to grab a hold of. There we go. Resistor 2. Resistor 3. Then we have C1. Something like that. C2. Stop doing that. <laughs> I have no idea how I picked that up. There's C2. And then C3. This is just a plain C3, by the way. It does not contain the uh, P oak. I was, I was making a joke. Put our connector there like a so. Make sure everything is lined up as neatly as possible. Yeah, I'd have to change my grids. I don't feel like changing my grids. Okay, so now we got that. The next thing we need to know is the size of the pie. 65 millimeters by 30 millimeters. So we come to our edge cuts layer and we draw. Now we'll have to change from inches to millimeters. So we want. Sixty five millimeters. Close enough. Actually, you know what it doesn't need. it doesn't have to be. Everything got to be difficult. All right, now we'll just move this stuff. So that everything fits. And of course, the top. No bueno. Try 
this again. Come on. We'll just redraw it. Whoops. <laughs> oh my. Hopefully, everything is now in place. Move that kind of back to the edge of the board there. Whew. Okay. So now we just have to route it. I do prefer an auto router, but hey. What can I say, right? Hmm. How are we going to do this? Yeah. I've got an idea. That 90 degree corner is not good, but you know what? We'll live with it. Okay. We got some serious ugly going on, but hey. I can live with ugly. Alright, next we'll go to our front copper, which is front copper, that's where we're at. And I don't know when the fuck that stopped.
We'll do a pour here. That should be our ground plane. go got a nice ground plane there so far so good can add some text it will be WFPR pi This is the 40 meter board. Oh, yeah, dumb, dumb, Paul. We need to be on the front silk. Try that again. WFPR pi. 40 meter. That might work out better, huh? There we go. And down here, you can just put and this is V1. Good, good, good. Let's see what she looks like. Those pins should be sticking through the bottom. But other than that, it's exactly what we need. Perfect. So all we need to do now is get our Gerbers directory desktop new folder WFPR pi this for pi select folder yes yes I do Okay, plot border and title block. Exclude patch and slope screen. Yeah, use Protel file names. Think we're good. Plot. So generate our drill file. Excellent. Close that. Close that. And see if we got it. Alright, so here I am. Looking at our Gerber files. Graphic layer 11. We don't need that. We also don't need that. So we can turn all them off. There's our silk screen on and off. That's good. Paste layer, nothing there. Solder mask. Copper. Our traces. There's our board layout bottom there's nothing there yeah I think that's good so we'll send that off to um, PCB way and get these made and uh, see what we get right all right
hope you guys enjoyed this uh, if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons big thanks to pcb way for sponsoring these videos that's it i'm out peace